Yo, what's up? It's Mark Smallwell Jenkins. This is my day at Westside Barbell, which was actually a dynamic day. Uh, so I didn't get to max out, which been, would have been pretty cool. Here's some belt squatting going on. Uh, the belt squat was actually one of my favorite machines to use out there. Um, these are the track girls that Louis coaching. Not entirely sure the exercise here is, but yeah. Here are some speed squats just going on in the background. You know, um, and Louis pretty much threw me straight in. Um, I didn't even know I'd be training, but I, I did bring my stuff just in case. Uh, I don't usually use a safety squat bar or chains for that matter. Uh, so even though this is supposed to be dynamic day, uh, it still looks pretty tough for me. So he had me doing five sets of five. Um, as you can see here, he's telling me to you know, push back with my hips uh, as we're doing box squats. So here he's just demonstrating. Telling me to really tighten that core and those obliques and get myself back up driving through the hills. Not quite sure what he's pointing out to me there, but maybe the board, the chalkboard. Anyway, so here we go with our working sets. With five sets of five. Uh, safety squat bar, I believe, is 30 kilograms. So plus the, the bar weight would make that you know, 70 kilograms plus the chains which I have no idea how much heavy they were uh, but this is what Louis told me to do so Here's another set. You, know, he can see, you can see Louis trying to help me learn this cue to release my hips at the bottom. You know, I, I don't really like rocking back, so I feel it doesn't really, you know, use that momentum getting out of the hole. So Louis just trying to help me learn how to just pop those hips back without rocking myself back. And here he says I'm shaking because you know I'm not pushing against my belt with my abs and my oblique. So here he's telling me to hit his obliques and um, you know see how tense they've got and that I should practice this too. So what did you say, it was strong legs, weak hips? You got strong legs, you got weak hips, and you, you don't put out on your belt on the side, that's why you shake. Okay. You, don't, you don't sit back. All right, you're always going to put you in your strongest muscles. So you lower yourself on your legs, I want you to put back in your ass. Yeah. Right. Okay, and what about, so when the first rep comes up, I'm always finding I'm kind of wobbling you at the top. Pull your elbows together. Okay. So pull your elbows together. And, just, and, and pick, pick your chin up. Pick your chin up, put it in your trap. Don't pick your head up, but pick your chin up. See, shrug up, pick your chin up. But I'm tightening all these muscles. Pick your chin up right now and shrug up. Shrug up, now pick your chin up. Pick it. What are you doing? Feel that? That's the way you want to be. Right there. All right. You know, it was so hot that day. You know, like, you can't really tell, but it was just boiling. Like, after these five sets of squats, I was, I was done. And, that kind of volume doesn't really kill me, so you know I was a bit surprised. I was feeling a bit nauseous, and then Lou was like, "Oh, you're doing deadlifts now, by the way." So yeah, West Side is tough. You can kind of see from the end of this set, you know, I'm already exhausted.
So as you can see, legs, legs wide, hit the back. Legs wide, hit the back, drive through the heels, and push through the hip. That's Louis saying Christian's got tons of leg strength, but it's not a lot of hip strength is why he's doing belt squats here. And West Side training, particularly in the accessory work, is all about volume. It's all about you know, bringing up that that weak muscle that that is limiting your lift. So you know, by belt squatting with, with the cable and loading the hips, you can bring up. Yeah, so pretty much immediately after squats, Louis threw me into seven sets of three on deadlifts with bands. You know, doubled over red bands, so, you know, this was pretty heavy for me. Um, especially since I was beat up from the heat and the humidity. Um, you know when you're trying to deadlift and there's a girl doing in front of you? Yeah. Um, here's uh, Christian doing his ab work at the end of the session. It's it's just safety squat bar with kettlebells on it. You know, it's a bit like a squat with the um, earthquake bar for the bench. You know, but this is all about you know tightening that core and, and trying to keep stable and you know tight. So yes, uh, Louis had me doing some sumo deadlifts. You know, he said my conventional form was, you know, it was all wrong. Uh, he said I should pull sumo, so you know, I'm going to do that for a while because I'm a bit, you know, not pleased with my deadlift at the moment. So hopefully, I can make some good ground with the sumo. So what are you doing with for your neck there? What's that? What are you doing for your neck there? Trying to strengthen for extension. My neck all the way down my erector. Help my deadlift lock out. Yeah. Helps deadlift most. Well, it helps everything. For if you want to stay upright in your, I'm a straight up and down squatter, so it helps me keep my neck pulled back. Just strengthen everything from the top down. Yeah. Okay.
What's your deadlift at the moment? What is it? Shit. <laughs> I know the I know the struggle. Uh, my best knee deadlift 385, and in the gym it's 405. Okay. It up to him. Yeah. <laughs> you got Instagram? Instagram? Yep. Melissa underscore Steven 05. So for accessories, I just started doing some reverse hypers. This is really cool. You know, building that lower back, but it also helps with recovery and, and spinal traction. It's uh, pretty much a staple of Westside Barbell and and not many gyms actually have them, so if you can find one of them, you know, definitely try and get to use it. How does this variation feel? Huh? How does the variation feel with the kettlebell? Oh, it's all I have. All abs? And more reverse high please. Lots of fun. And the lower back and hips are a particular weakness for me, so these are helps bring those up. Uh, at Westside they like to do 200 leg curls a day. Um, and that's your on days and your off training days. Uh, and it's just to protect the ligaments and tendons. That's why they don't have many injuries at Westside. Right, what are we doing here? Um, if you can't find a belt squat, you can, you know, you can try and, you know, simulate it in, in a couple ways using cables or a dip belt. You know, just just be careful when you're uh, getting inventive out there. Cause, you know, if you try standing on two benches that aren't stable with a dip belt hanging from you, you know, you might fall off and hurt yourself or something. Just, you know, so just be careful. But it's definitely worth exploring because it's, it's a really beneficial exercise. Yeah. 
show you over. They'll haul you over. That's the best exercise yet. Like that one? Yeah. You walk forward, it's all butt and hips. That's what you really good to be. Like get in there, walk out forward, right yep. up in front of it, like this, and you're like this. Walk out your hips, walk out your hips. Yeah. Okay. See, we do deadlifts in there all the time. Put this. Oh, uh, so you know when you have fighters in here? Hmm? You know when you have fighters in here? Fighters? Yeah. With everybody in here. Yeah. Oh, the top track girls right there. So you get them to walk around in there? Yeah. So just back and forward, is it? Or left to right? Around. Okay. Anything you want. All right. Let's try one more. So walk, walk forward. Yeah, this was uh, well harder than I thought it would be. Uh, it was a bit awkward, as you never done it before. Uh, also, I didn't really get what Louis was trying to tell me what to do at first here. You know, I seem to have a habit of squatting back when, when I push my hips back. So um, he actually wanted me to just extend at the hip like he was showing there. Uh, so, you know, he had to get a bit hands on for me, which you'll see in a second. Uh, you know, which, which is fine. So this was a bit of an awkward exercise, but you know, if you want to get strong, you know, you've got to do weird things, I guess. And that was embarrassing. Louis, do you know jumps? Is that 40 jumps as high as you've done before? Or? Optimal twice a week. So... You want to always push it up and just do like they did. The one girl jumped on a 54 inch top. Right. That's only 36. Okay. 34. She jumped on the blonde jumped on the 54. The other girl hardly ever done any jumps. That's why I had her jumping. Yeah. She's going to go uh, turn pro here real soon. Yeah. So yeah. So what I'm saying is you do 40 repetitions. Is that? Twice a week. Twice a week. Is that? Are the jumps to the highest you've ever done? So they're not. Um, like one rep max jump, so to speak. No, you gotta use the optimal box, like I said. Yeah. You wanna use, you, go get the kettlebells and jump on that box. This one here? Yeah, get records and then that box and a bunch of boxes. Okay. Kettlebells, uh, every weight vest. Every jump's a maximum effort. Yeah. You don't jump hard, you don't jump everything you got, you don't jump anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't matter the box height, it doesn't matter if you jump hard. <laughs> kettlebells. Bye, Malcolm. I see you, uh, Monday. Okay. Monday. I don't yeah. Yeah. Land salt. Jump hard, land salt. There you go. Just do series of five or ten jumps at a time. Okay. Four yeah. sets of ten. He thinks 11, 20, 10, 50. So as Louis said, you know, it's 40 jumps twice per week. It doesn't really matter when you do these, you know, you could do them at home, you could do them to warm up for the squat, you can do half before you squat, half before you leave. Um, you can use kettlebells, ankle weights, a weighted vest. You see Jake Norman in the background doing lap pull downs. And finishing off with good mornings, uh, yeah, I'm pretty bad at these. I just can't seem to stop my hips, you know, going back into like a squat. So, you know, I just can't really see a way around this even with, with lightweight. So, you know, work up to a max five reps. You know, Louis says don't go over, you know, try and hit, you know, a four, three or two or one rep max on. Good mornings, but just because it's a dangerous exercise, you know, you really want to be doing optimal work for your back, not dangerous work for your back. So, anyway, guys.
Thanks for watching. I've been Small World Jenkins, and I hope you enjoyed the video.